everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the houndstooth stitch, which it creates a beautiful solid fabric that you can see here. It's similar on both sides and uh, it's created using two colors and very simple stitches. Essentially, it is uh, made using the lemon peel stitch as it's sometimes referred to except this time instead of working it in a solid color yarn we're working it in the two colors. Today I'm using a 100% worsted weight cotton. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand in two different colors. Uh, my color A will be this darker gray, my color B this vintage color. You'll also need a 5 millimeter crochet hook or an H8 and a copy of the free written pattern which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com so thank you so much for joining me while you're here I invite you to subscribe let me know down in the comments how you would use this stitch pattern in a project and feel free to say hello this channel is updated every single Sunday morning with a new free crochet stitch tutorial our stitch today is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of 2 plus 1 stitches. So today I'm going to chain 21. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to work a double crochet into your next chain. Single crochet into your next stitch and double crochet into your next. You're going to repeat that all the way across, switching to your color B in the final stitch. And I'll show you how I like to change colors when I come across to the end of my row. So when you come across at the end of row one, you're going to finish off working a double crochet into your final stitch. And you want to change color in this final stitch. So what we're going to do is with our color A, yarn over, Insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You're then going to drop the color A, pick up your color B and place it on your hook and pull through. You can then with your color B chain one and turn your work. Now as we are working this next row two, we are going to want to work over top of our color A non-working yarn because when we come across at the end of this row we're going to want to pick it up again. Okay, So to begin row 2 we're going to work again over top and I'm also, or here I'll move this one out of the way so I'm not working over it. So you're going to work over top of your color A in this first double crochet stitch we're going to work a single crochet. Next, double crochet into your next single crochet stitch. Single crochet into the top of the next double crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across, working a double crochet in the top of each single crochet and a single crochet into the top of each double crochet stitch. And you can see as I'm working, my non-working yarn is just being laid over top of the stitches and I'm just working over top and around it all the way across. When you come to the end of the row, you may wish to gently pull that color A that you worked 
over top of just to make sure that it's not uh, sneaking out in between any of your stitches. I'll show you as I come across. And the final stitch of row two, we will be switching back to our color A. Coming to my final double crochet. So before I do that, I just want to gently pull that color A so that it's lying smooth and flat along underneath those stitches. Don't pull it too tight. You don't want your yarn to buckle, but you don't want it to be coming out through your stitches either. So you want to make sure it's nice and flat. When you come to your final double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into that final stitch, Yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, drop your color B, pick up your color A, which is right beside you there, and place it on your hook and pull through. Chain one and turn your work. And that's all there is to working this pattern. You're simply going to repeat your row two, alternating between your two colors as you go. So once again beginning with your single crochet stitch working over top of that non-working color B yarn single crochet then double crochet into your next stitch single crochet into your next all the way across switch back to your color B and repeat. And that's all there is to working this easy houndstooth crochet stitch pattern. So once again, thank you so much for joining me and I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.